I am here exclusively for you. My name's Felicia Romero, and I am here to show you the Burn Program. Now this is a step-by-step -step fitness guide designed to help you change your body. Now all you have to do is take a Burn Slim and a Burn Mirror replacement and watch your body transform and lose weight. Now I'm super excited to be here because I have my exercisers, Shazia and Sarah. Now Shazia has lost over 70 pounds after having her baby. So super excited to have both of them here. She's gonna perform our beginner exercises and Sarah here is gonna perform our little bit more advanced exercises for you superstars out there. Okay, are you guys ready to get started? Yes. Awesome, okay, so we must start out with a dynamic warm up. We gotta get that blood going in the body. So we are gonna start with a march in place. Getting your legs nice and high. Now the beginner aren't gonna get your legs as high as the advanced. And we're gonna go ahead and add the arm circle aspect to it. So legs are marching, arms are moving, the blood is flowing through the body. We must do this in order to get the body nice and warm. So you can see Shazia here is lifting her legs. Her core is super tight. Her arms are parallel with her body. So you start feeling that burn a little bit in the shoulder. But again, she's getting that blood going in her body, so that's what's going to assist in her warm up. Then we have the more advanced. We have Sarah, her legs are getting a little bit higher. So she's having to use more hip in order to do this. So this is a more advanced warm up. Arm circles are going, core nice and tight. Perfect, Sarah, that's awesome. Remember, we want to go ahead and keep it within our means of fitness. So don't push yourself too hard if you're not able to quite yet. Okay, so we're moving on to the toe touch. I love this exercise because it really stretches your hamstring. All right, ladies, we're gonna have shoulder width apart and I want you to come down, reach to opposite side, your arms are out and you're reaching to the opposite side, foot. Perfect, keep everything tight. So we're gonna go ahead and move on to our beginner exerciser here. Now you don't have to go all the way down to the ground, you guys. You can go to your shin. You can go to your knee even. You gotta just do what you're comfortable with. This is just a stretch. Really making sure we're stretching that hamstring, keeping your core tight. Awesome job, Shazia, that's perfect. Now we're gonna go to our advanced. Now Sarah here is a little bit more advanced. She's a little bit more flexible. So she's actually going to reach down and touch the ground with her palm. Really reaching down, stretching out her hamstring, keeping her core tight. It's a little bit more advanced than the Shazia beginner movement where she's touching her knees and shins. So reach down, touch the ground, and back up. Awesome job, keep your core tight. Great job, ladies. This is a great dynamic warm-up exercise. We're gonna go ahead and go into a lunge. Now, I love the lunge because it's gonna stretch out your hip flexors, and the dynamic lunge is a little bit different because we're gonna add a stretch to it. So in place, I want you ladies reaching for the ceiling, and we're gonna lunge down, stretching your hips, back to the middle. Down, stretch the hips, and back to the middle. Again, really reaching to the ceiling, keeping your core extremely tight. You can see Shazia here is trying to keep her knee behind the toe. Again, we don't wanna hurt the knees and we wanna reduce injury, so form is critical here, you guys. And Sarah over here, who's a little bit more advanced with this exercise, we're gonna go ahead and keep her core nice and tight. As you can see, she's actually really lunging out and getting more of that lunge with this exercise because she is a little bit more advanced. Knee behind the toe. Awesome job, core always stays tight with this exercise. Awesome job, ladies. We're really warming up those hips. This is awesome. Make sure you keep that core tight. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and add the last aspect to our dynamic warm up, which is the burpee. So I'm gonna go ahead and come down, feet out, push up and up. Good, again, keeping that core tight. Now there is a beginner with this and there is an advanced. With the beginner, we're gonna go ahead and start out with we're actually walking our feet out, walking our feet up. Now with this, we wanna make sure we keep everything super tight. This is the beginner, so she's going nice and slow, walking back and walking towards herself, keeping everything super tight. Awesome job, Shazia. Now if you wanna get a little bit more advanced with it, we're gonna move on to Sarah here, and she's actually adding the push-up portion to it. So she's coming down, feet are together in unison, push up, Feet come back together and stand. This is a burpee advanced movement. Awesome job, Sarah. Very, very good. Using the whole body to come back up. Great job, ladies. All right, ladies, we are so warm now and we're gonna go ahead and get into our workout.
We're gonna go ahead and start with lower body. Now lower body, you are going to burn more calories when you train the lower body. So we're gonna go ahead and start out with lower body exercises. We're gonna go ahead and get right into a squat. So our hands are in a Y position. Always make sure your feet are shoulder width apart. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna drop your glutes down, keeping your shoulders back and back up. So form is extremely critical with the squat, making sure your heels stay on the ground. All right, let's go ahead and check out our exercisers here. We have our beginner exerciser. She's going down and up. Her chest stays back. Her core is nice and tight. Her heels are on the ground. That is actually really, really good form. Awesome job, Shazia. Now, if you want to get a little bit more advanced, you can see with Sarah here, she's squatting. And when she comes up, she's going to go ahead and step on her toes and back down. Again, a lot of balance comes into play. She's using her whole leg and keeping balance as she's doing this. A little bit more advanced, so I don't suggest that you start with this. Start with the beginner, move your way up to the advanced. Awesome job, Sarah, that is perfect. Keeping everything tight, core stays tight, always keeping those heels on the ground. So we're gonna go ahead and move on to something called the curtsy lunge. Now, I love the curtsy lunge, and I have all of my clients do this exercise, mainly for the glute aspect. I wanna go ahead and start with that right leg and back. Make sure you keep your chest back. We're alternating each leg. Chest always stays back when we're doing this. Just like with any lunge, we wanna make sure that our knees stay behind our toes. Now with Shazia here, we wanna do a little bit more beginner. Again, we're not going down quite as deep. So I really want you to come down to your comfort level and making sure that everything stays super tight, but that knee stays behind the toe. That is key with this one. We don't want any injuries, but we wanna make sure that we're hitting the, the areas that we need to. Now with Sarah over here, the little bit more advanced, she's actually reaching further back behind her as she's getting that stretch. So really stretch. Good, dropping that knee down to make it a little bit more advanced. She's getting further into her lunge position versus the shorter version with Shazia. Good, and reach, keep everything tight. Tummy stays tight with this one. Very, very good. Ladies, you should be feeling it in your glutes right now. We always wanna make sure that we are working the body part that we need to. Now we're gonna go to a single leg deadlift. We're gonna have both legs on the ground and you're bending at your torso. Always bend at your torso, and when you come up, you're bringing it up with your hamstring and your glute. Down and up. Now, we don't want to keep your legs extremely straight because we don't want to hyperextend, so slight bend to the knee. If you're a little bit more advanced, one leg is raised. We're reaching to the ground. Balance, stabilization, and back up, keeping everything super tight. Balance, stabilization, and core work really come into this, all while trying to bring it back up with your hamstring and your glute. Awesome, ladies. So Shazia has both legs on the ground, bending at her torso and really bringing it up with that backside. While Sarah here is doing a single leg balance stabilization single leg deadlift. Work your way up. If this one is too hard for you, start with the beginner. Awesome. Always focus on what you're trying to work on. This is hamstring glute, so try not to use that lower back. All right, ladies, we're gonna go ahead and get into a plie squat. I love the plie, because if you think of those ballerina legs, the nice, long, lean legs, that's what this is. Toes are pointed out, so again, another squat. There's a million ways to do squats and all different types of, of exercises to really tone and shape. So we're gonna go ahead and point those toes out. Chest stays back. Now I want you to drop your butt down nice and slow. Chest stays back, pushing up through the heel and back up. So, so good for the inner outer thigh. You want an exercise to hit that inner thigh. The plie squat is for you. Down and up, chest back. Keep everything tight. Now with the beginner, again, little movements. If you wanna add a chair to this as well, where you sit on a chair and you sit back up, please do. Work around your fitness levels. Toes are pointed out, awesome. Her chest is back, core is tight, and she's really squeezing that whole lower body. Awesome job, Shazia. We're gonna go ahead and move on to the more advanced movement. And you see with Sarah here, she is squatting. And when she comes up, again, another toe raise. 
With this one, she's working her inner thighs, but when she comes up, she's balancing and also working her calves, which makes it a little bit more advanced because you've got to have a little bit of balance when we're working with the advanced movement. More advanced, not as advanced. Again, both work just as good. Awesome job, you guys. Very, very good. We're hitting every aspect of the leg today. This is perfect. But now we gotta get the glutes directly on the glutes. So we're actually gonna get on the ground and we're gonna get on your hands and knees. Everything stays tight, so anytime that we do any exercise, your core is always engaged in everything that we do. Your tummy stays tight. Now with this, your legs extended out and we're lifting from side to side and your leg literally looks like a windshield wiper. You're lifting the leg all the way up, all the way down, using that glute. So good for that backside. So I'm gonna check out these exercisers. You see Shazia here really using that booty. It, I don't even know how you carried 70 extra pounds on your body. <laughs> really using that glute. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and move on to the advanced movement here with Sarah using her glute. For this windshield wiper, you can see she's getting a little bit higher with this movement. And you can go ahead and move a little bit quicker as well. So again, think that the rain is coming down a little bit faster with this one. Good, using that glute, bringing it all the way up and drop. Good, now you can really feel that glute burn. Do you feel it? Yes. Awesome job, you are doing great. So this is a little bit more advanced on the beginner side, a little bit lower. Now you guys are doing awesome. I know your legs are probably burning. We're gonna go ahead and move on to upper body. Now upper body, we need this as far as our full body workout goes. We just got done with legs. Now we're gonna go to a push up. Now with this one, it's one of the most basic fundamental exercises that we can do and we can do it anywhere, at home, and the office, wherever you'd like. So we're gonna go ahead and get down into a push up position. Your hands are shoulder width apart. I'll show you beginner and advanced movements, but right now we're just gonna start with your body down to the ground and push away from the ground. All the way down, full body down, and up. Now, when we're doing a beginner workout for the push-up, you can see Shazia here, her knees are on the ground. Now, this is gonna allow a little bit of the pressure to come off the upper body, especially if you're not quite at the advanced level yet. Down and up, using that core and upper body strength to push yourself up. Knees on the ground, perfect Shazia. So if you wanna go to a little bit more advanced, you can see Sarah here, super strong Sarah, is coming down, using her whole body, her knees are off the ground, that means her whole body is coming into play with this one, so you are a superstar, this is so strong. Awesome, way to go. If you wanna make it a little bit more advanced, see she lifts her left leg, push up and down, let's go ahead and lift that right leg, and down, using that upper body strength, this is perfect, way to go you guys. Let's go ahead and move on to our next exercise, a shoulder press. Again, you can do this without weight, but if you do have access to dumbbells, you can add the dumbbell aspect to it as well. So we're gonna stand in place. Your arms are shoulder width apart and making that L shape. All you're gonna do is press to the ceiling and back down. Press up, back down. Now remember, when you're doing this, your core is constantly engaged. You wanna suck that tummy into your spine, keeping everything super tight. That's the good thing about full body workouts is you're constantly holding everything super, super tight. So we have Shazia here without any weight and she's pressing using her shoulders. You're gonna start feeling that intense burn in her shoulder right in here. That's where you wanna feel it. Again, form is key with this one. Core stays tight, press towards the ceiling and back down. Now with Sarah here, we have a little bit of, of resistance with these dumbbells. Same type of movement, so adding just a little bit of that resistance, you're gonna feel that burn in the upper body. Good, pressing all the way out. You always want a slight bend to the elbow, so never hyperextend anything when we do exercises. This goes for lower as well. Awesome job, ladies. I know the, your arms must be burning, I can see it. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and go into a back movement. So when we are doing upper body, we have to work all parts of the upper body. You can't just work your chest. You can't just work your shoulders. We gotta add all body parts. So we're gonna move into a back movement. Now, we're gonna bend slightly at your torso. Your arms are straight, and we're gonna do a rowing motion. All you do is come up, row, squeeze your shoulder blades together, and back down. 
Now the key to any back workout or exercise is squeezing your shoulder blades. Pretend that you have a pencil right in between your shoulder blades and you're trying to hold it together. So you're coming down, squeeze, and back down, keeping your core tight. Shazia is not using any weight, but she's getting just as much of a burn because she's using her shoulder muscles. A lot of it's that mind muscle control. Sarah here, the superstar, you're a superstar too. Thank you. <laughs> but we're just gonna add a little bit of weight to her. So we're gonna go ahead and squeeze those shoulder blades. Really, really make sure we squeeze, always keeping form. Form is key with all of these exercises. You'll only get the benefits if you are keeping your form. All right, you guys, we're gonna go ahead and move on to another back exercise. We gotta do back extensions. I love back extensions because it really helps to strengthen that lower back and everything surrounding your core. So we're gonna go ahead and get on the ground. And I, I like to call these Supermans, mainly because it looks like you're flying or like you're in a Superman position. And all you're gonna do is we're gonna lift our arms and legs above the ground and we're gonna squeeze the lower back. So when I say up, both body parts come above the ground and hold for three seconds. And up, three, two, one, and down. Up, three, two, one, and down. You guys, ladies, keep going keeping everything super, super tight. Now with this one, if you are on the beginner side, hold for about three seconds, and you might not be able to come up quite as high with it, and that's okay. Everybody's flexibility levels are different when it comes to this, but making sure you're feeling it right in here and you're squeezing that back. Awesome job, ladies. Now with Sarah here, and the more advanced movement, she's gonna hold a little bit longer with this one. So up, squeeze, maybe five seconds, maybe 10 seconds, just challenge yourself, really trying to take that advanced movement and making it your own. Again, squeezing and back down. All right, ladies, you're gonna stay in this position and we're gonna do something called shoulder stabilization. So you're in that Superman position. We're gonna lift your arms up and all you're gonna do is press out and back in, keeping your arms elevated above the ground. So again, this stabilizes the shoulder, really causing an intense burn in that upper body. Yeah. Yeah. So if you're a beginner, you're gonna hold just like this, but if you're a little bit more advanced, you're gonna go ahead and make a Y. So come out, arms stay straight, and come back to the middle, never dropping those arms. Again, super intense burn in the shoulder, but really, really helps to shape that upper body. All right, you guys ready for the core? Yes. Yes, let's do it. So now that we worked the lower, we worked the upper, you can't miss the core. The core is so important. I know Shazia knows because having a baby in your belly, you're, you're, you know, your ab muscles are pushed all around, they're in there, they're just weakened. So we have to strengthen it. So that's why core is so important. Now we're getting a core workout throughout the whole, all of the exercises, the lower, the upper, you're always holding that core tight. But these exercises really target it specifically. So we're gonna go ahead and start with a plank. One of the most easiest fundamental workouts or exercises you can do for the tummy. Now, form is everything when it comes to the plank. So you wanna go ahead and hold on your forearms. Now what you don't wanna do is butt up in the air. We wanna keep your body neutral, stabilized, so that your core is really working keeping everything super, super tight. Now, if you're the beginner side, you see Shazia here, her knees are on the ground for this. So she's not able to bring her knees up quite yet, especially since her core is maybe not as strong. So we wanna keep those legs, knees on the ground, but still everything from the upper is staying stable and tight. That is awesome, Shazia, good job. Now, if we wanna get a little bit more advanced, like with Sarah here, her knees are above the ground. Everything stays really stable. You can see her body is in a very neutral position. This would be a no-no, and this would be perfect. Okay, so everything stays tight. To make it a little bit more advanced, we're gonna lift the leg and alternate. And that again, just makes the exercise that much harder. Way to go, Sarah. Your tummy should be burning. Really suck that tummy into your spine. We're gonna go ahead and move on. Let's go ahead and turn around, ladies. We're gonna do some obliques. So the bicycle kicks are awesome for the obliques. These are a staple in my workouts, making sure that we keep everything nice and tight in from the side. So we're gonna go ahead and lay down on your back. And we're gonna do a bicycle movement. So we're here, cycling the legs, opposite arm to opposite leg. Keeping tight, now again, if we want to make it a beginner type movement, 
the upper is not going to come into play. Just the legs. So we gotta keep the legs moving, the core stays tight. Key to this is keeping the back away from the ground. So flush that back to the ground. Awesome, everything stays tight. And then we have Sarah here, where she actually adds her upper body into motion. So it's always opposite arm to opposite leg. So if she's taking her left elbow to her right knee, everything stays tight, back flush to the floor. Awesome job, ladies. Keep working that core. This is really gonna work those obliques. You guys are doing awesome. Perfect, we're gonna go ahead and move on to V-ups. Now V-ups are awesome because the whole body comes into play. Now you ladies can stay right there because we're just gonna stay on the ground and I want uh, your whole body parallel to the floor. Now when you do a V-up, your legs and arms come together. So up and down. And up and down. So we're gonna go ahead and start with the more of the beginner exercise here when it comes to the V-ups. So with Shazia, you can see she comes all the way down. She comes together and back down. Now she touches the ground with her feet, which makes it a beginner movement because it's allowing her to rest before she comes back up using your whole tummy. Awesome job. Go at your own pace because this is a little bit harder of a workout. Awesome job. Now Sarah, you can see she, her legs are not touching the ground and that's what makes it advanced. Now when we aren't touching the ground, we're using momentum and our whole core has to be working with this one so she doesn't get any help from the ground. Awesome job, Sarah. Way to go, ladies. Your core has to be burning. This is awesome. You guys are doing great. So we're gonna go ahead and move on to knee drives. So I want you guys to get around on your hands and knees again. And we're gonna use something called a knee drive. Again, it's just like a bicycle, but you're on your hands and knees, so you're driving to your knee to your elbow, keeping your core extremely tight. So this is awesome when it comes to core development, hip development, using your core to drive